Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Toads 15 where we're giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse racing as usual here on the channel. Just want to apologise um, for not making a vlog uh, for today's selections to run. It was just because I went to Worcester yesterday, which you might have seen, which we uh, broadcasted live on Twitter, posting some videos up live from the parade ring there. It was a good day actually, not too bad. We had two winners and a not bad each way bet there. We also had a few other horses as well that only were just uh, missed out from the action. So overall, it wasn't a bad day, we made a little bit of money. We had a six to one winner. We also had a seven to four winner as well, which actually wasn't a favorite, even though it's short price. Uh, horse there and we also had an eight to one um each way so that wasn't too bad uh yesterday for us at worcester i got back last night quite late and i was really tired uh from um vlogging all day and that and i just didn't have the energy and i just wanted to go straight to sleep so i didn't make a vlogger for today's selections and even if i did i wouldn't have had a good day anyway because uh, i did a little one this morning i had a look and um picked a few horses but only one or two placed so they weren't worth mentioning of note but yeah we're going to be getting stuck in for tomorrow's uh, horse race in action and the first race we're going to tomorrow uh, is in the first race at Sandown with a horse called Glacian which is Richard Hannon and Richard Ryan Moore teaming up for this one now Richard Hannon's horses have um, been running well of late he's been in good form but it's been, been more noticeable that a lot of his horses are running well on their second run and this is what this horse Glacian will be doing tomorrow he's he is the market favorite at the moment ran about six to four with bookmakers but he's a deserved favorite he finished third last time in that is his first ever race which was a maiden against some good horses and he uh, only just um finished third he was only about a length and a half from the winner and he nearly challenged a very short priced uh, horse there so that wasn't too bad there also he's very green in that race as well but he kept on very well to take third place and with um a lot of the other horses running in this race tomorrow a lot of, it is a maiden race so a lot of them are still um making their first appearance ever on a race course and not many of them have experience and i definitely think experience can matter sometimes a great deal in these kinds of races and because he ran here at Sandown last time I definitely think he can run a good race tomorrow and should probably win the race so that's going to be Glacian in the two o'clock at Sandown as our first selection. Now our second selection tomorrow sees us go to the afternoon jumps meeting at Newton Abbott and the horse that I've gone for here is um probably the best horse on paper and I definitely think he should definitely be in the mix tomorrow it's Irish Cavalier. We know a lot about this horse already. It's Rebecca Curtis and Paul Townend taking the ride tomorrow, coming over from Ireland for this one. Yeah, this horse has been not too bad. He wasn't having a great winter, but he did finish third last time. I believe it was at the Punchestown Festival, which wasn't a bad performance there. Also as well... In the autumn, this horse was running not too badly. It did beat Q Card in a big race at, um, I think it was Haydock. So that was definitely um, a great performance there. And he did get whacked up by the handicapper. And he, the handicapper seemed to have found him out. But this horse has been like clawing back into some kind of form. And I definitely think this horse is worthy of notes more. He's definitely probably the classiest horse in the race. There's a few horses as well that run in this race that haven't maybe been so consistent with their jumping um, and also as well they're still getting their chasing experiences. There was an Alan King horse in there that I did like the look of but I definitely think he's still got to prove himself at this grade where Irish Cavalier should be running very well in these kinds of races. He is a previous course and distance winner at Newton Abbott so that should come into some strength there. And he's running off a mark of 155 tomorrow, which no other horses are running near that kind of level tomorrow. He will be giving weight away though, which is slightly a negative side, you could argue. But I definitely think if he runs anywhere near the kind of form where he beat Q Card at Haydock last year and put in some other good performances last year, he could definitely be in the mix to um, run a good race tomorrow. So that's going to be our second selection tomorrow, Irish Cavalier. Our third selection tomorrow sees us go to York for the 255 with a horse called Our Little Pony and it's Lawrence Mullany and Richard Kingscoat teaming up for this one. Richard Kingscoat has been in pretty good form of late and this horse again is another promising horse. Ran about 9-2 bookmakers at the moment 
Um, it's had two starts so far. Uh, I think the first one was at Red Car, where um, it finished second, and it was running very green that day. It was running for Richard Fahey, but I believe he's changed um, hands, this horse. And that wasn't a bad performance, where he only just um, finished about half length behind the winner that day. And then in the second race, he won that, which I think was at Beverly, and he reversed the form, beating the horse uh, that beat him in his first ever race to run very well and um, win that race. So I definitely think there's some scope for improvement in this horse. He's still very young. It's only ever going to be his third race tomorrow, and I definitely think he can um, improve more. 92 is a fair price, I think, for this uh, horse with his scope for improvement. Richard King's coat riding well as well. And I definitely think this horse has got a good chance tomorrow. So that's going to be our third selection tomorrow in our lucky 15. Now we're going to have to wait quite a few hours for our last selection where we go to Aintree for the evening jumps meeting. And we're actually going to go for the last race there in the 8.55 with a horse called Midnight Walk. It's Donald McCain and Will Kennedy teaming up for this one, the usual combination there. Now this horse is up against a few good informed horses tomorrow. He's up against Let's Go Duchess who we have tipped on the channel here before which uh, won last time it ran which was at Aintree and it probably well got a favourite tomorrow it's 3 to 1 but makers at the moment but the reason I didn't go for uh, that horse is because it is stepping up in trip tomorrow and I'm not so confident that this horse could possibly stay um, the 3 miles it's going to go up by about 4 or 5 furlongs so I definitely think that will be a challenge for Let's Go Duchess and the horse that I've um, picked here uh, Midnight Walk is a proven distance winner. He should stay the trip, and he has been coming into some good form of late. He finished second at Banger on D on his um, last uh, race, and um, he only just got beaten by a skeleton horse that day uh, that pipped him towards the last... Um, few hundred yards in that race so that wasn't a bad performance there he's run about seven to one with bookmakers at the moment which i definitely think is of interest it'll be nicely weighted tomorrow as well and if you look on paper so far he's the only one that can really stay this trip of three miles so it's a bit of an unknown with a few of the other horses they've still obviously got a bit more to prove i think let's go duchess is probably going to be the one that could challenge our selection tomorrow with its Especially running in good form of late. I saw it at Newton Abbott when it came second and nearly won quite a bit of money on that one because it travelled really nicely that day. But um, yeah, I think Let's Go Duchess might just have that slight risk attached um, for going up in trip. And that's the only reason probably why I'm not backing that horse and I've decided to go for Midnight Walk. But anyway, if you've um, done all right over the last couple of days of um, betting or add any good selections let us know in the comments box below also as well give us your tips for tomorrow who you think might run well also for the weekend as well um i'm going to stand down on saturday but i won't be vlogging um on saturday on twitter uh because i'm with my girlfriend that day and she doesn't really want me to vlog so i won't vlog then um but also yeah follow us on twitter for uh, lucky loaders 15 as well as uh, facebook under the same name subscribe to our channel here at lucky loaders 15 for more horse racing content gamble responsibly and we'll be seeing you soon